皆さん、こんにちは。And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. So, before I start talking about anything, please take a look at this. So, this was a tweet done by a formal Maiko on June 26, 2022, just one day, one day ago from the time of the recording of this video. She、uh, made、uh, a, a tweet. Talking about her experience when she was 16 years old,、um, how it really was when she was a Maiko.、Um, on her profile, it says she was born in 1999, so she's turning 23 years old this year. So it's a few years back, I believe, from 2015 2016, I believe, when she was a Maiko. But let me, let me try to、um, translate what the tweet is about. It says here,、um, I might actually be erased from this world, but this is the reality of a Maiko, or basically her life.、Uh, I have been、uh, drinking alcohol, a lot of alcohol, from since I was 16 years old, and I was almost forced to take a bath together with the customers, with the guests. This, please rethink about if this is really a traditional culture. Also, this says the pictures it is from a time when she dr- was drinking Yamazaki whiskey, 18 year Yamazaki whiskey together,、um, just taking shots of it with her guests. The pictures are from at that time. Now,、um, this tweet is going viral right now in Japan. It's been, been being retweeted by many people. A lot of people are talking about it. And I was actually starting to receive a lot of DMs through Instagram about、um, this tweet, and a lot of people were asking my opinions about it. So I wanted to make a video talking about my own opinions as a Japanese man born in Kyoto and currently living in Kyoto, also training in various traditional culture. As you can see, I have my katana behind me, I train in Yaido. Also, tea ceremony, no theater, shakuhachi, and so on and so forth. I like to talk about my own experiences and such. So, first of all, just in case for those of you who might not know about the world of Maiko, I'd love to explain. Most people, once they graduate middle school, they start. They go to a okia, which is really hard to explain. Basically, it's like an organization. There's small okia everywhere in the entertainment districts of Kyoto. And basically, you, you、um, enter a okia, and there, there's a landlady, we would translate in English, you, who you would call a mother, your mother for the Maiko.、Mm-hmm. And for about an year, from about 15 to 16 years old, you would usually train for one year as a shikomi san, it's called. Yeah, you do the house chores. And- And you start learning how to become a Maiko, and around an year after training, you actually be- d- debut to become a real Maiko. And then from there, as a Maiko, around, around basically until you're 20 years old,、um, if you continue to work as a Maiko,、uh, you continue your training, and also from becoming a Maiko, you will actually meet the guests and entertain them. And when you're around 20 years old, a Maiko basically means that you're still in training to become a professional entertainer. And from around 20 Years old, you will become a gay ko in Kyoto, or it's called gay sha in the Kanto region, in different regions. But from there, you're a fully trained、um, entertainer. So basically, she was talking about this experience of when she was a Maiko just after she finally became a Maiko, so when she was 16 years old. And she says that she quit being a Maiko just after eight months after becoming a Maiko. So it was really, really fast. So that is how the system works in the Maiko world, first of all. And also, we need to understand that obviously in Japan, you are not allowed to drink alcohol、um, until you are 20 years old. So, a 16 year old girl、um, drinking alcohol is obviously against the laws. And of course, taking a bath together with the guests. Also, if you like to, you can take a look at her other tweets too. She is claiming that there were actually some times when the guests would put their hands into her kimono. Through her sleeves to, to touch, physically touch her body. And there were, of course, things that it's really hard to explain here.、Um, if you have the chance, you can go to her、um, Twitter and check out the other tweets she's made. But it's very, very horrifying and very scary. But、um, there are a lot of people who are suspicious about this tweet at the same time. Why would she be talking about this now, even though it's a really long time ago, and so on and so forth? But there are actually a lot of people sending her DMs about their experience of when they were a Maiko, for example, people who are formerly a Maiko, sharing their experience of very, very horrible things. 
um, of violence, of course, of co and of course, sexual crimes, and all of these things to them as well. And I, as a Japanese man living in Kyoto and tr training in various traditional culture, I have to say that this is the tweet that she's made and the claims that she has been saying, I'm pretty sure it's true. Mm -hmm. It's really sad to say, but I've definitely myself have seen these kind of things outside of the micro world too. Like um, I've made a video talking about the five facts uh, about sumo. Remember if you guys remember that video. I talked about in 2007, there was a 17 year old boy who was killed by his superiors and his uh, master mm -hmm, in the sumo house. There's a sumo room we call it by the way, just like the okia where the maiko all trained together live together. Mm -hmm. Sumo wrestlers are, are like that. And a 17 year old boy was basically uh, forced to do really, really hard training that even a professional would, would have a hard time bearing. And also he, uh, the young boy was um, suffering from violence by his superiors and masters. He was um, constantly hit by beer bottles and such. And he died when he was 17 years old. So these things, these problems, sadly often happen in the traditional world of uh, Japan. Um, although um, I'm, I have no confidence, of course, the situations might change, new information might, might be coming out, but um, I'm pretty sure considering all the other people who are sharing their own experiences um, by retweeting her tweet or um, sending her DMs and sharing their experiences and episodes and such, I'm pretty sure this is um, a true side of the Japanese traditional world. Because first of all, for example, for the Maiko, um, some, it's not, it's, many people are saying that's not all of the entertainment districts that exist in Kyoto, but many of the Okia, the Maiko uh, houses, I guess, you know, the, the organizations that take care of the Maiko, they don't allow the Maiko to even have cell phones, um, even though they are young teenage girls who are training during the day and working at nighttime to entertain their guests, they are not paid. Again, um, they are they call the landlady of the okia their mothers, and the maiko are considered the mo the mothers or the landlady's daughters. So basically, the daughters working for their mothers don't have to be paid either. So they're not allowed to have cell phones. They're not allowed to go to certain places that might um, destroy the image of Michael, like for example, convenience stores. Um, it's especially because their hairstyle can't be untied that easily. So even on days off, for example, they won't be able, they would have to maintain the hairstyle. So wherever they go, even without the makeup, everyone will obviously know that person is a Maiko. So there's a lot of places they can't go, a lot of, the, a lot of uh, ways of, for example, um, trying to contact with someone is restricted. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are saying that this kind of culture may be trying to hide these um, dark sides of the micro world, possibly. And I've actually um, been talking a few times about the culture of Ichigen-san Hotowari, which means no first time customers. And it is often explained um, in the culture of Kyoto that this one you know, first time customers are not allowed is so that the, the restaurants or whatever, wherever it is, um, they need to know about the, the customers in order to provide the best service. So they only allow customers that have been introduced by customers who already have been to the restaurant before. But considering this tweet and the, the truth, basically a true side of the micro rule that, that she has re revealed, many people are saying that maybe Ichigen San Kotowari, no first time customers, might have had a different meaning. Meaning. Maybe some people wanted to hide this side of the micro world, you know, yeah, and that's the reason why this, they had these kind of rules. But, you know, this is something that is definitely common in the world of traditional culture too. So many restrictions and not having any freedom. Yeah, it's definitely nothing that special, especially if you're really, really uh, deep into the culture. Like for example, if you're training right under the, uh, the headmasters of any traditional culture, yeah, you will basically um, have no individual rights. If you're training under a master, you are on um, you must obey everything that your superior says. And that is common sense in the traditional world. Um, even, for example, I was training in um, Shorinji Kenpo when I was in university. Um, for my generations, the situations have been get, getting a lot better, especially, for example, from the time again, in 2007, when that um, incident happened of the young boy dying from, his, from the training. A lot of um, things had been 
um, getting better. But just a few years senpai than me were saying that when they were still young, in the training of Shorin Jikenpo, the martial art, they were literally kicked and punched in the face if they didn't obey their senpai and superiors. And that was an okay thing to do back at that time. That's not like, I don't know, two decades or three decades ago. That's just what less than um, 10, 10 years ago, to be honest. What she talked about, first of all, one thing that I can definitely confirm is that uh, it is something that definitely could be true. There, of course, there could be new information coming out. We're not, we're not too sure yet at this point of the recording, but it's not something that would co come out of nowhere. That's one thing I can absolutely confirm with you. And by the way, for the Maiko, um, they're forced to train during daytime and also work at nighttime. You might think it's, it must be against the laws, but the, it seems, it seems from what I've studied to film this video, it seems that Kyoto City, Kyoto Prefecture obviously acknowledges this. And they say that the Okia or the Maiko organization is considered a school, basically. So it's not a job. So basically you don't have to be paid for a job so it doesn't break any of the rules for working. So that is the, the, that's the common sense that's believed in Kyoto. However, there is one thing I do want to say in this video to you is that um, this is, I, I don't want anyone to believe that this is the whole Kyoto world. I'm sure there is going to be a lot of other uh, Maiko, Geiko, Geisha, or um, businesses related to their businesses. Like for example, uh, we went to a Kyoto Hidden Gem series, we went to a, to a place where you can try out the Maiko makeup and such. Um, the restaurants are related to Maiko. I believe a lot of places are going to be attacked, uh, maybe losing uh, business chances and such. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna get hurt from this. And at a certain level, I do believe a, a, the world should change. As I always say, if you have been watching my videos for a while now, I always say that my dream, my goal of my life is to try to preserve and also evolve traditional culture. That's one of the things that I absolutely want to do to achieve my ultimate goal of trying to make all Japan lovers dreams come true. So that's what I mean by wanting to evolve the traditional culture. There's a lot of negative legacies that we have to get rid of, you know, delete, you know, you know erase, in order for traditional culture to um, make people happier, you know, for future generations. There's a lot of things we absolutely need to change. But at the same time, I really do want to say that not everything is like this. Although I'm pretty sure this tweet is going to be coming even bigger from now on. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot more people talking about this and going, it's going to go crazy, I'm pretty sure. But at the same time, as a man, again, living in Kyoto, training in various traditional culture, I want to say to you that I don't want you to think that every single person in the micro world are like this. There are very kind mothers, again, landladies, they're seriously thinking, believing that the Maiko working for um, her, you know, working for her, um, training under her, mm -hmm. are their daughters. I've seen those very, very kind landladies before through my jobs. Mm -hmm. I've actually met a real Maiko before on um, this YouTube channel, the filming and such. And I actually have an acquaintance, a friend who is a Geiko in Kyoto too. And those people are really serious about training on their skills in art, dancing, music. There are a lot of good people out there too. In every form of traditional culture, just like the sumo I was talking about earlier, that was one sumo room we say, by the way. Yeah, sumo room that caused a problem, you know, of killing the young teenager boy. That is a major problem. This is serious. For the micro world too, it is serious. It is not something, I'm not saying that we could just leave this aside. No, we must change this, but also at the same time, please, I don't want anyone to go and attack the whole micro world and hurt them. No, th that is definitely not the future that I want to create myself. So I don't know, I, I mean, my opinion is definitely not worth that much, mm -hmm. but a lot of people were asking me what my thoughts are on this. Mm -hmm. So I did want to say this at the very end. So again, the what she tweeted about, um, the situations might change, but again, I believe it is true. And it is confirmed by many, many people who are replying to her, um, sending her DMs and such. It has been confirmed. And from my personal experience too, I'm pretty sure it is true. 
and uh, this definitely must change. And I don't know how this is going to be going. I do not know th this uh, formal Michael in person. I don't know how the situation is going to be rolling down from here. Uh, maybe it'll become into a big problem. I'm not too sure, but it is something that someone needed to point out at some point and someone needed to start to make change because we cannot continue like this. We cannot continue like this. The younger generations in Japan, the younger people, the population is so small in Japan now. And again, Japan is the world leading aging country. We really need to take good care of the young in, the, in our country, in Japan right now. Otherwise, we're not going to be happy in the future. We are not going to be able to carry on any of the good things about Japan. So we absolutely might, must, must change this. I am completely against the current situation of these dark sides of every traditional culture in, in Japan, absolutely. But at the same time, there are a lot of good people. I know them, I've seen them, talk to them, who are really, really working seriously towards brushing up their skills and their art, trying to change this world too, together. We are, there are good people out there too. Mm -hmm. So please, I don't want anyone to die from just taking a look at the tweets that she's made, the Twitter account and the tweets that she made and directly connect Michael equals evil or Michael world equals dark, you know. Yeah, it's obviously not that easy. Mm -hmm. So that is just one thing I wanted to say in this video. So unfortunately, um, depending on how the situa situation changes, um, she was saying in her Twitter account that she will be going more on um, media, social media maybe, or maybe on TV, talk more about the tweet that she made and such. Maybe the situations it might change. In that case, I might be uh, deleting this video myself. I uh, So I really do apologize if this video is not available anymore by the time you want to watch it, but I did want to say this in advance um, because I didn't want to just stay silent you know, because this is something that I really believe should change too. So I just wanted to say this at the end and I just once want to say once more, thank you very much for watching this video and please let me know about your thoughts in the comments.